welcome aboard guys you know I've done a lot of stuff on the boat over the years as most of us do but I'd like to share with you today seven fairly simple projects that I've done to make life living on the boat a little bit easier well one of them was over in the galley you know you wash your dishes and stuff I to have the container of uh, dishwashing soap out on the on, on the counter or have to open the door all the time so I like the little push pump but most of those come with you know just a little bottle so I found something where you can put the whole big bottle down below runs a hose down it it's got an anti-siphoning device so that that long hose all the liquid doesn't run back into the bottle it keeps it up there so when you go to pump it it's easy and convenient and it helps keep the top of the uh, counter a lot cleaner and talking about the galley in that area living on the boat and being at a marina a lot of the times just having shore water hookup is very very convenient instead of having to fill the water tank the fresh water tank which mine is fairly small I mean I would be filling it almost every week uh, I did fill it every week till I hooked this up now the hookup to that was really pretty easy and it's got an anti-siphoning device on it so that when you disconnect the water from the shore your fresh water pump isn't pumping water out the uh, inlet it's got a stopper there and it was pretty easy to put that in basically get the hole there put this apparatus in the attachment and just run your cold water hose to that and everything else just feeds off of it very very convenient and it, this might sound like a pretty minor type of thing but the horn you know you can have the can you blow hell half the time I get ready to use it I can't find it or it's out of air so for just a couple of bucks I hooked a horn up outside just ran a couple of cables to the DC panel put the button there put the uh, blower on the horn blower on again very convenient and then while cooking well we're in the galley area here too while cooking none of my port lights open you know they're nice long they, they look nice but it didn't open over the galley so we we're always getting steam in here or um, you know the gas smell when we're cooking so I took that out this was probably the most difficult project I did is had to, I took that out filled that space in all the way in then I put a port light in that opens and there, it took me a while to get everything so it looks right I think I did a pretty decent job on it but now while I'm cooking the steam has somewhere to go now my engine when I got the boat the only access to the engine was through the in front of the companion way and to change the oil or to put new oil in or to check anything almost impossible there's like this much room between the engine and the cockpit floor so I just cut a hole out put a hatch in and I don't know what I would have done I don't know how I would have gotten the um, fuel injectors changed had I not done that I would have had to do it at that time or they would have had to pull the engine out to get the um, uh, fuel injectors out so to me that was very very important to get done for maintenance and to keep everything running right and while we're talking about hatches I'm going to go back to the fresh water tank it had a port in it uh, you know like a four inch one and that's how you fill the tank you got to run the hose down through the cabin and into that um, but I put a six inch in took that four inch out put a six inch in that way not so much for filling it because I did put a deck fill in but um, to get in there and to clean it 
and it was a it was a mess and it gets to be a mess on occasion because now that we're not living on the boat that tank sits there empty and a little bit of water in it and it just gets gunky it's a lot easier just take that cap off reach down in there i can reach everything clean it nice and sanitary and while we were living on the boat condensation you know in the uh, quarter berth in the v berth underneath for storage got to be a problem you know how things just get damp either in the from the heat in the uh, winter when you have the heat running and then that condensation or in the summer where you've got air conditioning running and it's hot outside we did this product uh, den dry I put that in the V berth first and then in the quarter berth which Sherry was using mainly for storage the condensation in that was horrendous I mean we we wound up we we lined the whole quarter berth in that stuff and it's worked out fantastic I mean that besides the um, uh, engine hatch this is probably one of the greatest things that I've put in. I think all of these things have been very helpful. Well, that's just a few of the projects that I've done. Anyway, I hope that helps you. And until next time, guys, happy and safe boating to you, your family, and friends.